so tune in tomorrow, and I'll show you some more of the good, the bad, and the ugly of what I ordered. I was just in a moment of, well, I went through several days to a week of depression, and when that happens, to cheer me up, I tend to, I tend to spend, and I'm in no position to do that on my income. But it's like I'm real good and I don't get anything for a long, long, long period of time. And then the next thing I know, the floodgates open and it's just like I want to just buy, buy, buy. But not expensive, just, just a lot of mainly unexpensive items. I say mainly because I did make a few exceptions here and there, which you'll see. I got this. It's supposed to be a, a necklace, or I mean a, a bracelet. But It has to be made for like a child because <laughs> it doesn't even want to fit on my wrist hardly. It's a terrible fit. It doesn't, it would come off real easy. Well, good morning, everyone. Today's Thursday. February the 3rd, and I never, um, I never saw it, if the groundhog saw his shadow or not, I missed it, I mean, it's like I saw it was the 2nd of February, but just that date in particular didn't, uh, didn't ring a bell in my head, to think, oh, today is Groundhog's Day, but from the looks of things outside, I don't know. Right now we have rain, it's warmer, but the temperatures are supposed to drop really bad. And throughout today, it's supposed to drop and start accumulating, and it's going to be ice, ice baby. Boom, 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 boom. Ice, ice baby. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, it's going to be bad. So it's hard to tell what's going to happen. If the roads are icy, I doubt if Albert will be able to stop by. Unless he walked across town. And I'm kind of worried that the ice might build up on the trees and stuff and bring down power lines. Because we've lost power before because of stuff like that happening. And if the power came down, we'd lose most of the heat here. And so it would be a rough few days until uh, they happen to get the power back on. So if you all don't hear me for a cup from, from me for a couple days, it might be because my power is off. Anyway, enough chitting and chatting. When I should be shuffling. Ow. And uh, let's give some. Uh, send out some prayers to Sherry. She's going through a lot right now in her life. And she could sure use a few, I'm sure. 
She could probably use as many as she can get right now. So, yes, yeah, send a prayer out to Sherry, please. Sherry Knotts. So, drum roll, here's our card. Okay. Now, I'll show you. You have the world. Except, your world is upside down. Numerology, this card is 21. It corresponds to Saturn. The element is Earth. This card corresponds to the Hebrew letter Tav or Tal. Its symbol is the cross. It means completion. The chakra is the cellular gateway, the cosmic portal. Um, key meanings are completion, success, reward, and joy. Now, since it's reversed, it shows you are ready to move on, but feel blocked or don't feel you are deserving of success. It can also show hanging on to one, one ambition that eludes you. And if so, it's time to redefine what you want and adjust your expectations. As you may be clinging on to a dream to the exclusion of all else. Alternatively, you may feel eclipsed by another's shining light. Overall, however, the negatives here are minor and you will get what you deserve. It just may take a little longer to become obvious. In the meantime, keep the faith. Its wisdom meaning is enjoy your success. You are drawing near to something that marks the end of a journey or an era. You may have many accomplishments that have lined your path, but there is a strange emptiness that fills you when you look backwards upon it. If you have all the pieces, but they are not coming together, what is missing? Do you feel connected to what you're doing? Do you feel connected to others? What alienates you from feeling complete? From feeling whole. Now reversed love meaning. While other aspects of your life may be going well, it seems that when it comes to love, something is missing. The reversed world tarot love meaning signals a feeling of incompletion, a nearing to the end of one cycle, but not quite there. You are so close to feeling fulfilled and happy, but something prevents you from seeing it. Are you not seeing your partner for all the wonderful things they are? Or is a past relationship coloring your experience of this one? Do you not have a feeling of closure from a past partner? Something requires you to tie up loose ends right now so that you can be happy in the moment. Now in career, have you finally accomplished a big career goal that you wanted for a long time? only to find that the rewards aren't quite as sweet as what you thought they were? Or have you fallen just shy of what you wanted to accomplish? The reversed world signals nearly completion, nearing completion, but perhaps missing the final pieces that would make you truly feel fulfilled. Perhaps your goals have been too defined by what others perceive as success, or perhaps you have set your bar too low that reaches its goal felt unchallenging. Now is the time to reevaluate your goals and make the adjustments as necessary. And finally, reverse finances. Even if you're in a financially comfortable position, you may feel stagnant and unhappy with what you have. There is likely a re-evaluation of your relationship to ma the material things that needs to be adjusted with the reversed world. If you found that you're falling short of your financial goals, now is not the time to indulge in feelings of disappointment. 
you are close to what you'd like to achieve. Remain consistent and you'll find comfort. All right. Hope that makes some sense to you all. Okay, right now you're probably saying, what in the world? Especially when you see what they are. They're not crackers. Okay, I know they're off season and everything, but I collect these. And Albert's mom gave me some. And I haven't got to put them with the, the other ones, which have already been put away. But uh, I'll tell you what I do. Okay. I mark down the year that I get them. I'm not sure exactly what year they're made in, but I can mark down the year that I get them. And this is just a little notation. This is his mom's initials. So I'll know then where these came from. Let me show you real quick what I have. I know these are upside down, but... Uh, This one is supposed to be Noah. He's got a little ark full of animals there, he's holding. Let me hurry up and mark this one. Now, I have um, one like this, but the one I have is bigger. So I don't have one exactly like this one of this size. The other two are the wind-up musical ones. There's two of these, which is really cool. So once again on these. I've been uh, doing some purchases. Nothing major. Just minor ones here and there. I'll show you some of the neat stuff I got here in coming coming days, weeks whatever because i know it's going to take a little while for everything to get here like this that's supposed to be a piece of a ruby and i'd never had it before so uh I went ahead and got a little piece. There's the back side of it. Just for my uh, crystal collection. Now some of the stuff I've gotten has been pretty cool. And then some I've gotten has been uh, complete junk. Say like I got this. I believe it's Onyx. It's on a chain. I just haven't put it on yet. And I got a one for Albert. 
Then I got this. Oh, let me show you it with this hand. You might be able to see it better. I don't know if you could tell what that is. It's like a, a half a skull. Thing is, with the exception of just a few things, everything was pretty inexpensive. I practically got them for a steal. Then again, that's probably why. Now, okay. I got the bear. It was supposed to be white, not pink. <laughs> because I got one of these for someone else, too. And I was thinking, oh, perfect bear for spirit hunting. Because I saw it lit up. And I thought it was a type that you just touched the hands or feet lightly and it would come on no you push a button and it's a big button that takes some physical strength um, I mean not a lot but it does take a little physical strength to turn that button on and off and I was wanting something a little bit early a little bit easier for the spirits to be able to turn on and off maybe more like uh, a, a touch button or something that just you know ver barely you t barely touch it and it it comes on something more sensitive and i'm thinking i might be able to get such a button but uh yeah i had ordered one of these for someone else also and after i got it i was so disappointed with it it was just like i did not have the heart to send them the other one because basically all it is is just a, a toy and you have to turn it on and off like that there's just this one switch so that was kind of a fail cute bear and everything but uh, for what I wanted it for I'm very disappointed very disappointed and uh next up is this set of coasters i got kind of needed a set nothing quite this big but uh hey it's you know I love these tiles. They're ceramic. But they're so cool. And each one's so colorful. That's kind of an old Amish. Symbol. Some of these are kind of like barn hex symbols that the Amish put on their barns. And that's the last one. But yeah, that was that was a nice find. That one I'm kind of happy about. The bear, not so much. I was bummed out by the bear. But uh, yeah. I'll I'll continue to show you more of what I get and have gotten. I figure stuff will trickle in over the next over the rest of the month or so. Anyway, that's all I have to talk about today. Peace. Believe. Have a blessed Thursday. If it's snowy and bad where you're at, and I, I heard this is supposed to cover a big portion of the country, watch driving. Be careful. Don't go out on those roads unless you have to. So you all take care. Be careful.
and bye-bye. Ice, ice, baby. Bum, 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 bum. Ice, ice, baby. Bum, 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 bum.